Hey everyone, welcome back. In our previous episode, we explored a wide range of essential applications to fuel your Linux adventure. Today, we'll delve deeper into the heart of Linux, the terminal, and equip you with a comprehensive toolbox of commands. The terminal might seem intimidating at first, but it offers unrivaled power and efficiency. Here's why it's valuable. 1. Efficiency. Perform tasks faster with commands than navigating menus. 2. Automation. Automate repetitive tasks with scripts for ultimate efficiency. 3. Customization. Access and configure your system with granular control. 4. Troubleshooting. Diagnose and fix issues directly through the terminal. First command is grep. Search for specific patterns within text files. Just type in grep pattern you want then file name. For example, grep error log.txt searches for the word error in the file log.txt. Command number two, find. Efficiently locate files based on name, modification date, size, and other criteria. Just type in find then the path for searching then the expression, for example, find slash documents, name, starred, PDF, finds PDF files in your documents directory. Command number three, head. Display the first few lines of a file. For example, headlog.txt. Command number four, tail. Display the last few lines of a file. For example, taillog.txt. Command number five, less. View a file page by page, useful for large files. For example, lesslog.txt. Command number six, sort. Sort the contents of a text file alphabetically or numerically. For example, we have here a text file named file, it contains some random words like tech trends, Linux, kernel, distro, terminal, programming. We can sort them alphabetically using sort by typing sortfile.txt. Command number seven, unic. Remove duplicate lines from a text file. For example, we have here same text file contain two duplicated words. We can remove one by typing unicfile.txt. First command, top, continuously display a list of running processes sorted by resource usage. Second command, kill, terminate a running process by its process ID, PID. Third command, stree, display a tree-like overview of how processes are related to each other. First command, nano, a user-friendly text editor for beginners. We talked about it in last episode, if you remember. It's great for fast and simple tasks. Second command, vim, a powerful but more complex text editor favored by programmers. 
If you could learn it and understand its power, it will be a huge benefit for you. Understanding file permissions is crucial for security. First command, change mod or chmod, change file or directory permissions, read, write, execute, for owner, group, and others using chmod, then type the permissions, after that the file or directory. For example, chmodu plus rwx file dot txt. Now the owner can read, write, and execute the file. Second command, change owner or chown. Change file or directory ownership with chown then, type the owner then colon then group, after that the file or directory. System administration essentials. For administrative tasks, these commands are handy. First command, sudo su. Switch to the root user for administrative tasks. Use with caution. Second command, df h. Display disk usage information in a human readable format. Third command, free m, show available and used memory in megabytes. Fourth command, psaux, list all running processes with detailed information. Manage your network connection with these commands. First command, ping then type the website, test network connectivity to a website. For example, ping google.com. Second command, if config, display network interface configuration details. Third command, IP address, modern alternative to if config, show network interface details. Get valuable system information. First command, unname, A. Display kernel information, hostname, and architecture. Second command, cat slash, etc. slash, OS release, or similar file view information about your Linux distribution. Third command, man then type the command. Access the manual page for a specific command, providing detailed usage information. We've talked about it before when we talked about getting help. This is the best way. Ready to explore more? Here are some commands for power users. First command, tar, create and manipulate archive files like .tar, .gz, or .zip. Second command, Alias. Create custom aliases for frequently used commands. Third command. Apt-get update slash upgrade. Update your system's software packages. Do it whenever you can, it is important. Remember, this is just a glimpse into the vast world of Linux commands. The man command is your best friend. Use it to explore the functionalities and options available for each command. The terminal awaits. Don't be afraid to experiment. The best way to learn is by doing. Practice using these commands in your terminal. All right, everyone, that's it for our comprehensive guide to Linux. If you enjoyed this series and want to become a true Linux pro, smash that like button and subscribe for more. We'll be back soon with a brand new series delving into advanced Linux topics. We'll explore more complex commands, system administration tasks, and unleash the full potential of your Linux system. Stay tuned.
and see you on the next adventure.